Hello everyone, my name is Natraj and I'm a faculty for UPSC Civil Service Preparation. Uh, with prelims around the corner with around 40 days or so, let's talk about some simple yet effective strategies that can help you increase your odds of clearing this exam. Especially those kind of strategies that many even good students tend to overlook as well. This is actually part of our prelims mentorship sessions meant for the students who have enrolled in our personal mentorship program. However, we've opened this up for the rest of you as well. So without any further delay, let's get started. One of the things that I want to say is, there is still plenty of time, 40 something days, right? So approximately give a take. See, when we started this whole process, the prelims mentorship and when we set a plan for you, we had to study more things and revise less because a lot of things had to be done first, right? There's no point in revising something, you know, when you have not done, let's say, you know, spectrum, but Pele, you have to do the first reading, then you have to do the second reading. Only after the second reading can we actually call it revision. But by the time we're reaching here, and for many of you, revision should take precedence. Okay, now this is something that, you know, you feel like you know it. Okay, and you seem to be very confident that you know it as well. Uh, see, I am not very confident about whether I will know it. Okay, unless I revise it multiple times. Okay, because I know who I am. Okay, I, I know that I have to sort of, do. but this is the kind of time in which you start focusing a little more on revision. Now, this is for the people who've already finished at least one round of learning everything. So when I say a revision should take more time in terms of number of hours than studying new things, uh, what do I mean by this? So take a look at this. So this is basically an example of something that I've said for one of the students, right? When you wake up, whatever time it is that you wake up, one day you wake up at five, one day you wake up, you wake up at four, one day you wake up at nine in the morning, 10 in the morning, whenever it is. But first you focus, okay, uh, on revision, okay, Re revise. Okay, now depending upon how good your memory is, depending upon, you know, whether you want to be spending a whole day on a particular subject, the more number of times you see a particular topic, uh, the better you will have memory. If you, if you, I don't know what exactly this is called, but this is called, let's call it the forgetting curve or something like that. Okay, when you know something, eventually over a period of time, okay, your retention, okay, let's say this is your class lecture, eventually goes like this, within a little bit. You know, within a few days, it basically goes here if you don't sort of revisit. So the, the more times you sort of revisit, what happens is, okay, you pull it back here. And then again, it goes something like this. And then again, you pull it back here and then pull it back here. So literally, you try to keep this here. So what do you have to do if you have done it on a, a particular day? This is plus one. This is the first day. This is after three days plus, you know, four days, whatever it is, you know, the more frequent The more frequent the revisions, okay, the um, longer the retention. Okay, this 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 is actually true. This is you know um, a lot of times you study, right? You study a lot, but you know you don't necessarily focus on how to study. This is backed by research. The longer the retention, it means that you need to have more frequency of the revisions. This is actually a shortcut. So instead of you know coming back. Uh, 15 days later or one week later and then spending a whole lot of time you can spend a fraction of that time if you just spend a little bit of time on these topics now depending upon how you want to do it whether it is one hour whether it is half an hour whether it is two hours um, you know i believe it to you to decide how you want to do it but generally for some i i, I sort of do a hand holding uh polity you know polity spend an hour ancient medieval half an hour half an hour half an hour each spend a little bit on geography environment now when i do this thing in revision also you have to understand that your revision is your specific revision Right, um, you what you need to know or what you are not good at is something that I may uh, find it sort of. So I cannot suggest how you have to revise whether it's chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. In fact, I would even we won't even say that it has to be chapter wise. It has to be concept or topic wise. So let us say one day it is just Indus River that I want to sort of master. One day it is just you know the tribal rebellions that I want to master. I'll just go through that revolution. Uh, you know the revolutionary terrorism period one, revolutionary terrorism period two. Okay, I'm just going to focus on those sort of components. Whatever it is, small small sort of components do that. Okay, along with this thing, also focus on your current affairs. So when you do a five hours in the morning, as soon as you wake up of revision during revision, one page basically takes you like you know less than maybe like ten seconds, thirty seconds. If you have to do it. Uh, the first time it might even take you up to 10 minutes so in five hours the amount of things that you could actually accomplish is like so much that you'll be in an upbeat mood throughout the day okay you will definitely be in an upbeat mood okay after that i would again suggest that you know do csat for minimum one hour depending upon your strength uh, some of you are very strong at csat some of you are not very strong some of you are strong but you've lost touch again focus on foundation foundation first uh, practice a whole bunch of questions from a particular topic and then eventually you can try some previous year question if you think that csat is taking too much time should you be uh, spending so much time in it? Trust me, be safe. Let's be safe rather than sorry. Okay, and once this is done, then you go for your lunch. Until lunch, just go ahead and do all these sort of components. And then you do whatever you have for the day. 
okay your day starts here okay but when you start here you know what a great mood you will be in you have done so many things okay and you've done even c set and then you've gone for lunch a lot of people will start getting productive only here but how many things have you done here okay now this also helps to a large extent now this is not something that i have done uh, because i generally used to do uh, morning slot uh, early morning before i go to my office and that that used to be uh, uh, but again i uh, but uh, you know uh, idea wise it is the same you know i start with my revision okay put myself in a beat mood or oh, i've done so many things and then uh, whatever time is left i try to do new work Uh, but i hope you get the idea that uh, you know whenever you have a large problem that you have to face you have to solve try to break it into small parts you you taken this we've taken a management concept of before and during and after and try to understand what are the things that should be in your basically your checklist uh, how do you ensure that before the test you are doing what you are supposed to do during the test you are trying to make the most out of it and trying to maximize your score what are the things that you i would do what are the things that you could possibly try uh, you've also tried to understand post it test analysis how important it is and how much effort can possibly go into it okay now you measure your sort of uh, effort in that regard you know that excel sheet that i showed you about like where which chapters that need to be revised more or the ones that you don't know how exactly you can make those uh, short notes or something which is very time consuming there is not something that i suggest to every single person uh, but i'm just telling you that this, these are the kind of things that i have done and it helped me right um, you know depending upon the number of days that are there you have to uh, you have to sort of decide what is right for you if you need any if you have any questions just go ahead and free feel free to sort of text me and and find out and we'll sort of uh, set up this one uh, we'll see what works for you and another thing is basically um, just to summarize at the end of the day you just want to take six subjects plus current affairs and be a generally aware person in each of these things if you can if you feel if you really feel that you're better than most okay even in those things smaller smaller chunks within those subjects also if you feel you're better than most trust me overall you're going to be better than most if you're better than most in this uh, in, in in all of these things trust me when you walk into that exam hall you're walking in with a lot of confidence okay not with stress and anxiety and all of these things because you know you you you're there okay backing yourself with so much effort that you put in okay if you look back at what are the things that you have done if you have to just think about it it will take you two hours to think him what did i do in the you know three months back two months back one month back how much effort have you done okay both tangible and intangible sort of effort will be clearly visible uh, from your end so when you walk into the exam hall you see as other 20 people this is not something that is going to give you anxiety okay because you know what you're made of okay and you know uh, you deserve to be there and you know you deserve to be in mains given the kind of effort that you put in okay and you All right guys so that brings us to the close of our video thank you for watching and we hope that you found the video to be useful if you did please like share and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the very next video